Shout out Sniper T on the beat. Tamara to the break of dawn is on the rise with life on the forefront of the mind. So line for line, you can ride this brain train and you can change your station without even touching the dial. So relax, stay a little bit, but listen for a while. And whether you're bumping this in the whip or in a business fit, it's a meeting you won't want to miss. A meeting for a meal to feed the soul with words for the mind. So sit back, enjoy the ride. Time to take off, it's time to fly. Cause Tamara to the break of dawn is on the rise. Hey, 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 y'all. It's me, Tamara. <laughs> yes, studio audience, thank you so much. You always make it do what it do, what it do, baby. Yes. So, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for tuning in. Y'all, I really be trying, like, okay, but listen, because I know I'm late, right? And this week was rough. Like, I don't know, like, what's going on in my life, what's going on in whatever. When I tell you this week was brutal, this week was rough. I have cried so much this week. And if I'm honest, I don't even like fully understand what's wrong. <laughs> like, I don't even know why there's been so much crying, why there's been so much just tension and turmoil. And I don't know. Also, just side note, I'm trying, I told y'all, I think last week, I'm like, I don't want to say shopping around, but kind of just trying to see like what I actually want to do as far as like how I record the visuals for my show. Because if this was audio only, I would just hit the roadcaster up and, you know, it's whatever. But I don't know. I I just don't know if I want to use StreamYard anymore. We'll see. And so right now I'm like trying different things and somebody that I know that goes to the church. Um, and it's funny because this is actually who I went to when I started the podcast to like get suggestions or whatever. And so I was kind of telling them, and it's not even that StreamYard is the issue. It's just recording over the internet. <clears throat> Sometimes it's a challenge when Cox been tripping lately. Like, yes, I'm going to say who it was because they've been tripping. You know what I'm saying? Internet just, it don't be internet and like it's supposed to. And so I was talking to him about like, okay, well, what can I do? That's like, I don't necessarily have to rely on the internet or whatever. And so, yeah, here we are. So Descript. So last week I used Riverside Dot FM, I think it's called. I don't know. I had started a cow with them a long time ago, but for whatever reason, I never tried them out, right? And you can get however much free every month, and I don't even be recording them long episodes like I used to, right? And so then um, somebody, his name is Cap. Uh, y'all wouldn't know who that is unless you go to my church, but he told me to try Descript. Now, what I like about Descript, now this is actually my first time using it, but as I started researching like about the features and this, that, and the other, they actually have like transcription services, which could be helpful if I decide to do whatever. So there's just like different things you could do within that service. Mind you, I just did a little bit of research or whatever. So this is my first time using them. Now, what's different about them is that... As I'm recording, normally with screen, screen yard, stream yard, and even with Riverside, when I look at, how do I explain this? Like when I look at myself as I'm recording, stuff is flipped. So like right now, as I'm looking at it, it's almost like I'm looking in a mirror. And so my bookshelf is on the side of me that it is in, I guess, real life. And so normally I'm used to looking at it flipped. So that's a little bit different. Um, I don't know how that's going to work out with, I don't even know because, but whatever, here we are, we're trying new things. I guess I could flip it when I do the editing and add the layover, overlay, whatever it's called and, and all this, whatever. But 
Hi guys, I'm here. What I actually really brought y'all here to talk about is, what did I bring y'all here to talk about? Oh, y'all, okay, so Saturday, right? I spoke at a conference. Yes, so shout out to Win Women of Wisdom, I think it's Inc., I feel like I should know that. I'm sorry. But Women of Wisdom had me as a speaker at their Crowned in Confidence uh, conference, or maybe it was a workshop. We'll just say it was a conference because that's what I had said right. Either way, I know it was called Crowned in Confidence. I don't, y'all, listen, Crowned in Confidence. Y'all know I don't be having nothing written down. Sometimes, most of the time, every time I hop on the mic, I usually don't even know what I'm going to talk about anymore. I just let, as it rises up in my spirit, you feel me? But anyways, shout out to them for having me speak at their conference. Now, what's super dope is, so I was a business highlight but like, I'm not going to go somewhere and just say like, oh, this is my business. Oh, this is what I do. Like anytime I'm given the opportunity to speak to pretty much anyone, I'm going to try to encourage them in some sort of way. Y'all that have been listening forever, like I share about my life and how I'm trying to grow, but it's to encourage you to be mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically healthy and healthy in your relationships. You know what I'm saying? And so I had like these three points of, I shared my journey of getting into entrepreneurship and then just like three things that I felt could be helpful to them, no matter what they're working towards. So maybe they're not trying to be an entrepreneur, but maybe they're just trying to work towards a goal or whatever. And so I don't remember what the points are because I don't have that in front of me. Let's see if I could remember. Um, you already have what you need. So that was one. Um, don't stop until you get it. And so that was point two. And then pivot, pivot, pivot was point three. And so the rest of it was freestyled. I just talked about like my journey from when what led up to starting my company to just some of the things I had to overcome going from being a nine to five employee to someone who is solely an entrepreneur and just like that whole journey and even the ways I've had to shift things around so that I don't have to go back to a nine to five. So I did that and there were other speakers and it all like really flowed together well, almost as if we all like knew what we were going to talk about. I literally did not know the other speakers at all. And then I also did a poem. And so what's dope about that is I haven't performed poetry live in person in years. Now y'all know, shout out to Pen TMZ, which is funny because I text Penrose the night before. Because if you know anything about me, I'll be writing my poems like last minute I try to be a better person and it just, it is what it is for whatever reason with a lot of creative things. Now it's not like I'm doing music and all this, there'd be way more preparation with that. But for whatever reason, when it comes to poetry and a lot of different things, it's always like not last minute, but kind of. So like, even when we had Pen TMZ, a lot of them poems were written like right before we went live or right before we got together for our jam session. And so it's super interesting because so I text him the night before because it just made me think about Pin TMZ. It made me miss Pin TMZ. And so then, yeah, I haven't performed a poem live in years, though. Mind y'all, I don't even like speaking in front of people at all, which is wild because a lot of what I do in my life forces me to have to get up in front of a room full of people and lead something, you know what I mean? And I don't like doing that. But, you know, the things that the Lord invites me into, I really try hard not to let my fears and insecurities and all of that stop me. And so, yeah, it was such a dope experience though. Like I got so much more from that than I poured out. And that's what I love because the other speakers and just everybody they shared, they had like a sofa talk, which was just not just, but it was a conversation amongst three, we'll just call them like moderators. Maybe I don't even know if that's the right terminology, but whatever. It was a really dope event 
And it just really has shifted since then. If you pay attention to my social media, you will notice that every day I have been dropping a little less than a minute video. And so, like I said, Tamara the Dawn Inc. was going to get back to content, but content is just going to look different. And so instead of doing the type of teaching videos that I was doing before was kind of more towards like, I don't know, it was all over the place. I'm really just trying to encourage everybody to be mentally, emotionally, spiritually healthy, encourage you to achieve your goals, whatever. And it's it just looks a little bit different. And like, that's my lane. That is what I do naturally, no matter who I'm talking to, just because my journey lets me know that I'm not special. So like anybody can do, I'm not going to say anybody can do what I do because we all have things we're supposed to do, but all of us can do the things that we're supposed to do, right? But some of the things that I do and some of the things that you do, we're going to need to do the same type of like preparation or have the same type of mindset or whatever to achieve that. And so I just really want to encourage people with that. I really want to encourage people to have like healthy relationship dynamics, be emotionally healthy, be healthy in their healing journey and all of that. And so I'm putting out videos every day, one video every day. I am on Instagram making. So sometimes I'll upload it to my Tamara the Dawn Inc. Instagram and then make Tamara the Dawn my personal a collaborator or vice versa. And so I've been really doing that. TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, sometimes Snapchat, if I remember to upload it to Snapchat. Um, and yeah, that's how I've been doing my content is more so just videos. And I've really enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? Because while it's scripted, just like the teaching videos were, because I just want to make sure that I'm concise in what I'm trying to say. I don't have to do all that extra, like a lot went into those videos because I would have like the little graphics up there and all that. I don't have to do all that. I just have to record it, edit it, add the captions, which I mean, I do that in CapCut and then upload it to whatever. I think what I'm going to start doing though is I think I'm going to I think I'm going to start adding the music in CapCut instead of in TikTok because then it I yeah, I'm trying to figure out what the best way is to upload it cuz I really like the idea of using later to schedule it and like have that distributed to all the platforms. However, you can't have a collaborator on Instagram if I do it that way. And it's really important for me to have Tamara the Dawn Inc. and Tamara the Dawn be collaborators because that's what's going to grow my business page because I have a lot of followers on my personal page, but not all those people follow my business page. And some of them don't even know it's there. But if I keep uploading videos like that'll usher people there or whatever. So that's kind of what I'm starting to do with that as far as content. So yeah, you're going to see a video every day. They usually upload at night. I don't know why. Part of it is probably because when I've been recording them, but I want to do like batch recording or whatever with that. And it's like the conference. So it's really cool because last year I got to be a breakout session presenter or facilitator or whatever at the Own the Pond Business Summit, right? But this year I was like a featured speaker and they didn't have breakout sessions or anything like that, but it for what it just felt like I was leveling up as far as my um participation or whatever in an event and to be able to both speak and also do a poem and all that. Like, that was so cool. Lunch was provided, so that was dope. My mom was there, so that was cool because I do a lot of different things. And my mom, used, like, I'll tell her about it, but she's usually not there for it. So that was pretty cool. Um, Yeah, so that is probably where I'm going to land this week because 
yeah, I think that's a good place to land. So as always, make sure you take care of yourself mentally. Make sure you take care of yourself emotionally. Make sure you take care of yourself spiritually and physically. You know what I'm saying? Be healthy in your relationships. And I will encourage you with this. And I made a video about this the other day, but I'm going to say it on here. Don't be so defined by your struggles and the things that you've been through. Don't let let ugh, excuse me. Don't let that be what defines you. We all go through a lot of different things. Y'all have heard some of the things that I've gone through. I know y'all have been through stuff that I couldn't even imagine walking through. Like we all have our journey, right? But we are not what we went through. And that's really what I want to encourage you with that. I I, I had that, um, I made that video, excuse me, and then I had a conversation with somebody actually earlier today. And it's kind of like, sometimes we go through so much trauma in our life. And I never want to minimize anything that anybody went through. Because what we go through, especially when we go through trauma at a young age, It really has the power, unfortunately, to shape and mold us to like operate as somebody we weren't created to be, right? However, the healing journey, right, once we start that, it can be messy, it can be hard, pause, it can be frustrating, you can want to give up, but you can't give up, right? You can't because if you give up, then you're going to stay stuck operating as the person that nine times out of 10, the reason we start the healing journey is because we're tired of being however we were, right? And so my encouragement to you is wherever you're at in your journey, in your whatever, don't let your struggles define you. Don't let your identity be shaped around your struggles defined by your struggles or any of that because when you do that like who you are and who you actually are the core of who you are it's really difficult for the rest of us to get to experience that because we're experiencing the you that is being wrapped in your struggles wrapped in your trauma responses wrapped in if you're in survivor mode right so survival mode survival mode yeah So that's my encouragement to y'all. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will talk to y'all now. Mm. One of these days, maybe I'll stop (laughs) messing up on my words, but probably not. So I will talk to y'all next week. Bye. Ladies and gents, this concludes transmission. Tune in next time for a whole new edition, another adventure and mission to share, be heard, and clarify the vision of this whole new world for...